So today we're going to be doing a couple of informal proofs of Cauchy's integral formula, that is this one here, and the integral formula for derivatives, which is this one here. If you can remember these formulae and you know how to use them, there's some very, very easy marks to be picked up in exams, and we're going to do some of those questions in the next video. But in this video, what we're going to do is just give the background to these two formula and basically where they come from so they're understandable. Okay, so basically what it says is for a simple closed curve C orientated counterclockwise, and a function f of z which is analytic i.e. differentiable on the region within c then for any z0 inside c these two formulae apply and they're very powerful and there's a lot of exam questions asked on them so let's go straight into proving them okay now the first one let's just remember uh, that Cauchy's integral theorem is the integral of f of z dz equals zero around the curve c uh, if, let's just have a look, here's the imaginary, here's the real, we have a curve C here, and we have a function f of z, which is analytic inside that curve, then the integral around that curve is equal to zero. Okay, and let's call the region A. All right, so basically, let's now define a function g of z, which equals f of z minus f of z zero, and let's put a point here, z0 which is inside the uh, contour so g of z is f of z0 over minus f of uh, f of z minus f of z0 over z minus z0 now as we know that f of z is analytic everywhere within the region a then we know that g of z is analytic everywhere in a minus possibly z0 we just got to sort out z0 Okay, so basically, let, sorry about that, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so basically, what we've got to look at is how do we work out whether g of z is defined at z0? Well, let's have a look at the limit of g of z as z approaches z0. Well, the limit of g of z as z approaches z0 is basically this limit here, which by definition of derivatives is equal to the derivative of f of z, i.e. f dashed of z. But we have already said that f of z is analytic everywhere, i.e. differentiable, infinitely differentiable, everywhere on the region A. Therefore, this exists, and therefore, g of z0 exists as well. And therefore, g of z is analytic all over A, because we know that it exists at z0, um, because of the way that we've defined it. Hence, we can say, we can use Cauchy's integral theorem and say, OK, well, that means that the integral around the curve of g of z dz equals 0 because g of z, we've just established uh, by the way that we've defined it, is analytic within the region A. OK, so basically what does that mean? That means, therefore, well, as g of z is equal to f of z minus f of z 0, that means that the integral of f of z minus f of z 0 over z minus z 0 dz around the curve c also equals zero and that therefore means that the integral of f of z over z minus z zero around the curve c equals the integral of f of z zero over z minus z zero dz around the curve c okay so basically and we know that f of z zero is a constant because it's just the value of f at the point z zero so that equals f of z0, the integral of 1 over z minus z0 dz around the curve c. And in the previous video that we did, we have already established here that the integral of 1 over z minus z0 around c is equal to 2 pi i. We did that in the previous video. Go and have a look at that video if, uh, if you don't remember that. And therefore, all of this simplifies to be the integral of f of z dz over z minus z0 equals f of z0 times 2 pi i, which is that bit, and therefore that gives us Cauchy's integral formula, which is that f of z0 equals 1 over 2 pi i, the integral f of z over z minus z0 dz, and that is Cauchy's integral formula. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, now let's have a look at the second one which we're going to prove, um, which is Cauchy's integral formula for derivatives. All we need to do is differentiate this, so that's f dash with respect to z0, f dash of z0 is d d 
dz0 of 1 over 2 pi i, the integral of f of z over z minus z0 dz, uh, which equals 1 over 2 pi i. We can take the integral, we can take the constant out. The integral of d dz0 of f of z over z minus z0 dz, and this bit here, well, 1 over z minus z0 equals z minus z0, oh, sorry, 0, to the minus 1, and the differential of that is equal to minus 1 over z minus z0 squared times by the differential in the bracket, which is minus 1, which is plus 1, and so therefore we have, uh, I don't know if I've got enough space here, that f dashed of, uh, where are we, we've got that f dashed of z0 equals 1 factorial over 2 pi i the integral of f of z over z minus z0 squared dz. So that's basically the first derivative. And by doing exactly the same thing, we can get that the second derivative and subsequent derivatives, i.e. fn of z0 equals n factorial over 2 pi i, the integral of f of z over z minus z0 to the n plus 1 dz, and that is Cauchy's integral formula for derivatives. Not proved. I've only shown it for f dash, but you can do it by induction going all the way through to, uh, to fn and beyond. Now, this basically just gives you an idea of uh, where these two formulae come from. In the next video, we are going to go through a few questions and you will see, as long as you understand how to apply this, the questions are very easy, very quick, and they allow you to save a lot of time in exams. Okay, well, I hope you found this useful and enlightening. If you have, um, please press the little thumbs up button and subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.